everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to crochet an easy triangle shawl. Uh, now this is a very cozy shawl to wear. It is triangular in shape and it's very, very easy to work. Now I've worked this shawl today in the Scarfy Yarn by Lion Brand. Uh, I'm using the navy and denim color here in my sample and today I'll be working with the cream and taupe color. For this project today you're going to need about two balls of this yarn. It is a bulky weight number five yarn and there's about 312 yards per ball so you're going to need almost two full of these. Along with that, you're also going to need a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. Links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video, you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. You'll find some other photos there as well. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There's lots of other free crochet patterns, including shawls uh, here on my channel, as well as free stitch tutorials. Now our pattern today is worked in rows and it's worked at the bottom point up to the longest sides. So what we're going to do is start by working our slip knot and then chain five. For row one, into the fifth chain from your hook, work one double crochet. The chain four there at the beginning counts as a double crochet and a chain one space. Chain one and then double crochet back into that same chain, so into the fifth chain. That brings you to the end of row one and you'll have three double crochet stitches and two chain one spaces. For row two, chain four and turn your work. Double crochet into that first stitch. So that's the stitch at the base of your chain four. Your chain four once again and always will count as a double crochet chain one. Chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. chain one and now into the third chain of your starting chain four so just count up one two three into that third chain work one double crochet chain one and double crochet at the end of your row two you will have a total of five double crochet stitches and four chain one spaces. Chain four and turn your work. For row three, double crochet into that same double crochet stitch, into that first stitch. Chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet stitch three times. So there's one, chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet, that's twice, chain one, and double crochet into the next double crochet stitch, that's three times. Chain one, and now once again into the third chain of your starting chain four, work one double crochet chain one and double crochet. At the end of this row you're going to have a total of seven double crochet stitches and six chain one spaces. Chain four and turn your work. For row four 
double crochet into that first stitch chain one double crochet into the next stitch and chain one for a total of five times so there's one two three four and five chain one into the third chain of your starting chain four work a double crochet stitch chain one and double crochet chain four and turn your work for row five you're going to double crochet into that first stitch then chain one and double crochet into the next stitch for a total of seven times chain one into the third chain of your starting chain four work a double crochet chain one sorry I forgot to chain one there so go back chain one double crochet into that third chain chain one and double crochet that brings you to the end of your row five for row six through to 61 you're simply going to repeat that pattern that we were working all the way across so you're going to see this grow uh, quite substantially so keep working until you have a total of 61 rows and then you can meet me back here. At the end of 61 rows, your long edge should reach about 64, 65 inches. So that's this edge up here. It should be about 64, 65 inches. And then you can meet me back here. And that's all there is to the body of the shawl. And then we're going to work a nice and easy edging. Once you have worked about 61 rows and your long edge across the top is about 64 inches, 65 inches long, uh, you finish then the body of your shawl. It's going to be a lot more larger than what I have here. I'm just uh, working a smaller piece to kind of show you what to do here in the video. So what you're going to do at the end of your row 61 is to chain one and turn there's no need to fasten off we're going to begin working the edge of our shawl by working a half double crochet into each stitch and chain one space all across this long edge so half double crochet into that first stitch into the chain one space into the top of the next stitch and repeat that all the way across to your corner stitch. So I've come all the way across to my chain four, I'm working one final half double crochet into the chain one space. And then at your corner stitch, which is the third chain of that starting chain four, into that corner stitch work three half double crochets. 
This is going to bring you around to the next side of your shawl. So work three half double crochets. Now turn your work so that you're working along this rough edge and what we're going to do is we're going to work this next part working the stitches into the bases of the double crochets and skipping the stitch or the post in between. So we have our half double crochet into the base of the next stitch you're going to work five double crochet stitches. So skip the stitch into the bottom of it, work five double crochets. All into the same space. Then you're going to skip the post of the next stitch and single crochet into the next, into the base of the next. Skip the post of the next stitch and work five double crochets into the next. You're going to repeat this all the way across to your next point. I've now worked my way across to the next point. I've ended with a single crochet. So in the point, the next corner, work seven double crochet stitches. And this is going to bring you all the way around to the next side. So there's two, three, four, and five, two more. six and seven. So you have this larger shell down at the bottom point of your shawl. You're now ready to continue working along this next rough edge the exact same way as you did before. So you have a shell stitch here. Skip the next post into the base, work a single crochet, skip the next post and then into the next base work five double crochets. Repeat that around all the way across to your next corner. When you come across to your final corner you have a shell stitch, post. Now into that corner stitch work two half double crochet stitches. and then join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. You can then fasten off, weave in your ends, and your easy triangle shawl is complete. That's all there is to it. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, give this video a like if you like it. And if you happen to make this shawl, be sure to tag me on social media so I can come and admire it. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.